Hi, welcome to the Cut Optimizers tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use one of our add-ins, the Cut Optimizer. The Cut Optimizer finds the best way to cut a coil. The Cut Optimizer aggregates your production order minimizing the waste of the available coil or suggesting the production of the right coil. As you can see there are three possible demo to be played. For this tutorial we will play the demo one. After pressing the demo 1 button, two new Excel sheets are automatically generated. In this sheets, in column A, there is an explanation of which data to enter for each columns of the tables. Furthermore, in the inputs sheet there is the explanation of the settings and parameters tabs. Before we started to explain the inputs and outputs tables, let's get a quick look at the settings and parameters tab. In the settings tab user have to select cells corresponding to his inputs. In the Log and Params tab there is a section called Warning Log, where it's possible to read the warnings log. If it's empty, computing was successful. Furthermore, there is the possibility to set three groups of parameters, the Technical Constraints group, that groups the specific parameters of the algorithm. The Stocks Constraints group, that groups the constraints related to the materials in stock. The Constraints on Producibles group, that groups the constraints related to the materials that can be produced. For a description of each parameter's use, user can just move the cursor to the icon placed next to the name of each parameter. There is also the Reset Parameters button, to reset the params to the default value. The Cut Optimizer's tables consist of two input tables and five output tables. The first input is the Customer Order table. In this table user have to enter the orders he want to cut using the algorithm. In particular, for each order, have to specify the width and the quantity limits. Furthermore, the user has three possible combinations for the double pair of parameters regarding the coil number limits and the length limits. It is possible to insert only one of the two pairs, with the other automatically calculated by the algorithm, or to insert both. The second input is the stock table. In this table, User have to specify the identifier, the width and the quantity of each stock. When all the data is entered and after verifying that all columns are set correctly in the settings tab, the user just needs to press the compute button, wait a few seconds, at most 30, and see the results printed in the output sheet. As you can see, after pressing the compute button, the output sheet has been populated by the results of the algorithm. The first output table is the cutting plan summary. This table reports the coil that has been used or produced, the produced one has prefix prod. In the log and params tab, there is a contrans in the technical contrans group called max producible number, that is used for set the maximum number of coil that can be produced by the algorithm. If it's zero, the algorithm will use only coils in stock. As in this case, with the max producible number set to a value greater than zero, the algorithm will prefer to produce the coil instead use the stocks if with these there should be waste. This because the algorithm have the target of minimizing the waste. In particular, we can see that two coils has been produced by the algorithm. The table also reports, the number of that type of coil used, the number of cuts of the coil, the width and the length of the coil. The cutting plan summary table also reports a summary of the waste that remains after cutting the coil. The second table is the cutting plan detail. This table shows the details of each cut reported in the cutting plan summary table. In particular, are reported, the cutting scheme, how many cuts with this scheme must be created, the width, the length and the information regarding the waste. The third table is the assignment summary. This table shows the relative width and numerical quantity for each order assigned by the algorithm. Furthermore, there is the assignments detail table, that specify for each order in the previous table, which coil produced by the algorithm it corresponds, and the related details like, the scheme, the replicas, the width and the numerical quantity. In the assignments summary and assignments detail tables we can see that all the five orders that the user entered has been assigned by the algorithm. The last table is the unserved and excesses table, that reports for each customer's order, the width and the numerical quantity that the algorithm undercreated or overcreated. In this case, the table report only positive width, it means that the constraints of each order have been respected but with the surplus of some parts. 
Thanks for watching this video and remember to visit our website i4excel.com to stay updated on all our dims and to contact us.